Hey, I'm Sam and I do design and in the video today, I'm showing you how to do this tortoise shell effect in Keyshot. So I've opened up Keyshot here and I'm using Keyshot 6 and there are a few tips and tricks later on that you can do in Keyshot 7 and later, um, but I'm gonna point you in that direction instead of actually showing you guys. But we'll get started and change the material here on the arms to brass. But what you can see here is the fact that everything has changed when I only wanted one thing to change. So what I need to do is go up here and unlink all the materials. In the file that I've put online on my website, um, all of these folders that you can see on the right hand side here, they're not there just in case you wanted to put them in your own folders. Um, but to do that in Keyshot, you right click on the parts and press uh, insert into new group over in the parts tab over there. And then now that everything is unlinked, I can put the glass in and relink them because we know that anything that the left side is, the right side also needs to be as well. And then I can start to put in a clear plastic shiny material. And actually I kind of liked the finish here just on its own. Uh, I think any glasses that I might buy in the future, I might actually go for a finish like this because I quite like the effect. But what we're going to do is go to the material graph after clicking on the material and then actually loading in a JPEG for the tortoise shell. And that is going to do all of the work for us. We don't need to worry about anything else. It's just going to be this JPEG that I found online. So when you put this in, you can press C on the keyboard and that's gonna show just the one item that you've got selected. So I had the JPEG selected. So you can see just the material there. And the thing that I'm gonna try and change is the box map feature. Uh, because anything, when you're looking from the side of the glasses, it's gonna show up with a really similar uh, pattern. So just rotating it like I did there is really going to help with just breaking up that, that pattern so it's not the same all the way around. The little trick that I know in Keyshot 7 and later is you can start to blur the edges between um, where the box map seams are. Uh, I know that Esben has a great video on that so I'll link that uh, somewhere on the video now so you can go check that out. But for the purposes of this video, because it's almost like a camo pattern, the tortoise shell, you can't really tell too much anyway. So I'm not really too worried about that. So what I did there was put the node into the specular transmission box in the shiny plastic material. And the specular transmission is going to be what is uh, see-through and what is not and what is colored and what is not so it's done all the work for us as you can see here you can see through the yellow bits into the uh, frame behind and you can't see through the black bits so now the next thing that I'm going to do is adding in the clear nose piece to the material and I'm going to do that with a gradient map and I've already made a mistake here in the video um, where I've selected the wrong type of map. I've selected diamond uh, when I should have selected cylinder. And I'm gonna realize that in a minute when uh, it doesn't play nice. But effectively what I'm gonna try and do is mask off the areas that I want to have color and mask off the areas that I want to be completely clear. And I can do that by tweaking the gradient map as you can see me doing here. And this is when I realized that actually I didn't quite pick the right map because it wasn't looking the right way. And then I realized, there we go, change it back to cylindrical. And the same thing applies. I just want the edges of the nose piece to be completely colored because when I put that into the material later on, it's gonna mask off the texture. So to do that, I'm gonna use a color adjust node and I'm gonna put that into the specular transmission as well. And I'm going to use the gradient map as a contrast map as well. So effectively, wherever it's black, it's gonna have no contrast at all, meaning that it's gonna be completely clear. And whenever it's white, it's gonna have the material that we've got in the texture map. And the color adjust is gonna merge those two together and put that into the specular transmission of the plastic. So that's pretty much the tortoise shell done and dusted. Um, you can see as I'm scrolling around now, you can see straight through the clear bits. 
Uh, you can see through the yellow bits, you can't see through the black bits. What I'm doing now is just linking all the other materials that I want to be the same and then tweaking them slightly to try and get the look that we're going for. And as an extra bonus, I'm gonna add a little bit of noise texture in, as a bump map into this material for the, for the frames, for the uh, arms there. And what that's gonna do is break up the reflections so that it looks slightly more matte in, uh, in appearance, but Keyshot doesn't need it to be super matte because the more matte something is, the more uh, time you need to render it. So I'm trying to uh, increase the matte effect without increasing the render times there. So that's essentially it. All I need to do now is pick an environment that I want and I cycle through a few here. I think the main thing for the environment is to try and find a nice balance of contrast, but also softness. I wanted to have light shining through the material like you can see here, but I wanted some nice soft shadows. Uh, and I think that I achieved that look with that environment on the side there. And you can also see that the shadows are slightly pixelated and the way to change that is go into the lighting settings in the environment tab on the right hand side there and increase the shadow quality to a three to a five or something like that. And then you're gonna get some nicer shadows. And as one last bonus tip, I have opened up the geometry view. You can do that by going to window, I believe, and then pulling down the geometry view. And I've got the arm selected here and you can change the pivot point to one of the screws inside the hinge. Um, and once you've got that pivot point changed like this, then you can move the whole arm around that pivot point and you haven't got to realign it later on as well. So there it is guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial for a tortoise shell finish in Keyshot. If you learned anything in this video, let me know down in the comments and let me know if you enjoyed this key shot tutorial because I haven't done them before and it was really fun for me to do this. So let me know what types of finishes you're after in the future. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and hit the bell button and everything else that YouTube asks you to do. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.